Do I have a microphone, Tim? Thank you so much. Good morning. Welcome to VBS Sunday. My goodness, what a great day. We always start by the kids getting to sing a couple of their songs that they've been singing all week. But before we do that, I want to invite any of the three-year-olds that are here that are sitting with their parents, if you would like to come down here and stand with the other kids and sing your songs, you absolutely can do that, and you should come right now. So if there's any three-year-olds that I see them coming, or if you feel better just singing the songs right there with your parents, you can do that too. Youth, will you kind of help the three-year-olds come and find a place they want to stand? You can come stand right up here. You can stand in the aisles. You're three, you can do whatever you want, honestly. (laughs) Really, that's the way it goes. All right, youth kind of help if there's some three-year-olds that want to come up, let them come right over here or right beside you or whatever, okay? All right, you guys, you ready to sing? Wait a minute, VBSers, who's ready to sing? You are? Okay. You ready to do Operation Overboard? All right, we're going to sing two songs for you this morning that we did in our assembly each morning, and we're going to have a lot of fun doing it. Mr. Tim, we're ready for Operation Overboard nice and loud. Here we go. You ready? You ready to boogie? Here we go. Work it out. You ready to jump in? You got to sing your words loud. Here we go. you when we get to that part. Are you ready? We're ready, Mr. Tim. Here we go. Here we go. Roll them up.
great, weren't they? Let's give them one more hand before they go sit down. Yeah, Before we go on with our service, we're going to let everybody find their families so that they can enjoy the rest of the service. So we're going to start with the youngest three-year-olds. If you came up, let's go back and sit where mommy and daddy were just a minute ago, okay? We're just going to take a minute. Parents, as I call each age, if you want to stand and wave, that would be awesome. Teachers, feel free to help. And then let's do pre-K. Pre-K, let's stand up and let's go find mommy and daddy or grandmama or whoever you're sitting with, okay? All right, wave your hands. Youth, can you help walk people to their seats? Do you see where your mommy is? Will you walk her, Madison? Do you see where your mommy or daddy is? Okay, hold on. Will you walk him, help him? I think one more time we need to acknowledge the, uh, let's call it the um, organizational prowess of Miss Lindy. Let's give her a big round of applause. I'm amazed and so grateful I didn't have to do that organ you know, dismissal part. Welcome. We're so glad you're here for Vacation Bible. So most churches, VBS is one week. We have an extra day. For VBS, and we're really glad you're here. If you have an attendance pad, there are the black pads that you'll find on either end of the pew. Please fill those out. We'll take these out and brag about it today, because this is, look at this, this is great. It's the middle of July, and we're packed, and it's awesome, and this will make us feel really, really good. Um, and we also just want to know you are here, so we can uh, maybe get in touch with you. Uh, a couple of things. Today is the day that we get to register. If you're going into kindergarten through fifth grade, this is the day you get to register for your fall classes at the party. More about that in a second. That's out on fifth. You'll see all these sign-up sheets for all the classes that are available from guitar 
to world drumming, to mad scientists, to visual arts, to good newspaper, to puppets, you name it, play together, pray together, Bible black belts, it's all there. They're everywhere. So if you're going into kindergarten through fifth grade, make sure you do not leave today before you've registered for your fall academy class. It's very important because I want you to get the class you want. And for those of you who have kids who are three years old through six years old, we have sacrament school that starts July the 31st and goes through August 2nd where we um, talk about communion and baptism. And that's for kids ages three through six. That's in your bulletins. There's a special announcement sheet that should have that, at least in most of them. If not, you can get a hold of one. Um, now, I also want to let you know there are how to join cards in the pew pockets in front of you. You know, whenever I go somewhere or I get a haircut or I talk to somebody and I say, oh, I'm a children's minister, I say, well, where? I'm like, First Methodist, Fort Worth. Oh, that's such a beautiful church. And, and I know what they're talking about. They're talking about the building. It's gorgeous. It's a beautiful place. Here's what I want you to do. Everybody look to the left. Smile. Everybody look to the right. Smile. This is what our church really looks like. You like what you see? Look around the room. You like what you see? Yeah? If you want to be a part of this community, I, I, you know, this is not just some big show that we put on once a year. We have worship for children and families every month. We have great stuff going on in the children's wing. This is how we feel about children all the time. We don't always get to express it this extravagantly, but this is who we are. This is First Methodist, and we are crazy about our kids. All right, why don't we all stand together and join our voices and sing in our opening hymn, All Things Bright and Beautiful. Here we go. remain standing for our opening prayer, which is on the next page. You know, God gave us so much more than our voices to pray with, so we like to use our whole bodies to pray. So here's what's going to happen. For those who want to read along the prayer with me, I'm going to say the words to our prayer called Hugging God, and I want all of us to watch Miss Lindy, and she's going to show us some very simple movements so that we can pray with our whole bodies. Here we go, our opening prayer. Dear God, I love you so much that sometimes I want to reach out and hug you. But how can I get my arms around you when you're so big? Bigger than a whale splash. Bigger than a mountain. Big enough to reach the farthest stars in the sky. For now, I'll simply hold my arms out wide. Happy to know that you are hugging me. Amen. You may be seated. <laughs> now, how many of you think you know what our theme for today is? Does anybody have an idea what our theme might be? It's kind of vague today, isn't it? We're not quite sure. So let, we have a couple of friends who are going to help us. Uh, Grady and Hope are going to give us our theme for today. I'll take your bulletin. you got a lot of paperwork there, my friend. All right. Why don't you come stand right here. All right, and of course we need a big drum roll to get this going. Here we go. Big drum roll. Big drum roll. Big drum roll. Over, 
Wait a second. Hang on. Wait, I think y'all are flipped. Y'all, y'all want to try that again? Y'all want a second chance at that? Yeah, y'all, y'all are flipped. Go ahead. Big drum roll. Wait a second. I, I didn't mean flip like that. I mean, you know, flip the other way. You want more shot? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's try that one more time. This is the bit, folks. All right, here we go. Big drum roll. Do overs. Thank you very much. Thank you. You may, go, you may have a seat. Thank you so much. And now our friend Will is going to show us the sign language sign. We couldn't find one for do-overs necessarily. That's not it. Oh, y'all, okay, you got it? All right. But we have the sign for the word chance in sign language. Show them, Will. Like that. You want to try that at home? So you want to see what a second chance looks like? Show them, Will. Looks like that. You want a third chance? Show them, Will. There's a third chance. So, you know, God gives us a multitude of chances. Will, one more. Will, they want one more. They love this. You're gold, man. Give them one more chance. That's it. (laughs) Well, we have some friends with some stories to tell, and Mr. Rusty's going to come up here and help you tell their story. Good morning. Can I get my helpers down here? I need Colin and Lily. And Kira, for those of you that don't know what this is about, my name is Rusty, and when we do our children's first worship service, which is the first Sunday of every month, so if you're a visitor today and you have kids and you want a really cool family experience, that's a great time to come see us. But we have a part in that service where the children of our church tell us about how the theme that we're talking about each Sunday impacts their lives. And that's what we're going to do today, and we have three helpers today that are going to tell us some great stories. And Colin, I want to talk to you, because your story this morning about a second chance really hit close to home with me. Can you tell me a little bit about a time recently when you said, I want a second chance? What happened with you recently? I got out whenever I was playing baseball, but I got to get up back there and I got to hit again. So you were playing baseball. How many of you have played baseball in here and got out? You either struck out or you hit the ball right to someone, and that happened to Colin. Colin, did you get mad? No. No. But did you get determined and say, you know what, I'm going to get a second chance and I'm going to do better? Yes. And what happened? What did you do on your next hit? I, I went all the way to third base. He got a triple. Isn't that awesome? That's part of the thing that's great about second chances and baseball is you do get a second chance. So, Colin, thank you for your story. That's a great example. Lily, can you tell us a little bit about when you needed a second chance? When I was in second grade, I was doing a time worksheet, and when my teacher came to check it, I got four out of ten. Okay, teachers, this is for all of you. Time worksheets are not fun. It's stressful enough that we have to learn all this, and then you make us time it? I mean, come on. Is that how you felt, Lily? Yeah. Yeah, you, you still have some teachers in your life going forward, so you got to guard your answer. We understand that. So you got four out of ten. Hey, that's pretty good in baseball. That's 400. Colin would be happy with that, right? Were you happy, Lily? No. No. What did you want to do? I wanted to get ten out of ten. You wanted to get ten out of ten. So what did you ask for? I asked for a second chance. Did you get it? Yes. What did you do? When I got a second chance, I got ten out of ten. You got ten out of ten. That's awesome. Good job, Lily. That's a great story. All right, Kira. I understand at VBS this week, you guys have been doing some great things through your mission work for Second Chances. Can you tell me a little bit about who we've been helping? We've been helping orphans in Kenya. Yeah, as many of you know, our church has adopted 250 orphan children in Kenya, and we do a lot of things to support those children throughout the year. And tell us about one of the things you've done this year, about back-to-school kits. What have you all done? We made, um, we put crayons, pencils, erasers, pencil sharpeners, and toothpaste and toothbrushes in it. So you collected all of that stuff and made 250 back-to-school kits for those kids? That's awesome. Let's give a big round of applause for all the kids on that. And understand you guys did one other really cool thing. What did y'all do? We collected money for new shoes. We're going to get all of those kids new shoes? Yes. How much does a new pair of shoes cost for those 250 kids? $15. $15. I mean, 250 pair. 
So doing the math, you carry the X very, I don't, do you know what that is? Um, $3,750. $3,750, but because we're ambitious, we round it up, right? We said, let's make it an even four because I think we can do it. How have we done so far? We've got $2,565. Ooh, so we're close. We're really close. Kira, how much more do we need? $1,435. We need $1,435. Who's good for it? <laughs> no? There's hands. I see them, Mark. Can we, can we borrow? Do you have $1,000? All right. Uh, how are we going to... Kira, do you have any idea on how we can get this? everybody gives a little, then we can make it. If everyone today gave just a little, we could make it. Kira, that's an awesome idea. How about this? During the offering, if you want to give just a little bit more, and I know a lot of you have already given a lot, and we appreciate that, but if you want to contribute again or for the first time to this effort to get brand new shoes for all of these children, when the offering goes around, you can use this card. You can put your money or your check into that card and just write on the front of it, Kenya... And we'll know where that needs to go to. And that'll be another way to collect money. Or afterwards at our big celebration, which I think you're going to hear a little bit about. Again, there is going to be a, uh, the mission store will be open, which is something really cool we did this week. And that's another place where you can make a contribution to this. Now, Mark was telling me yesterday, I don't know if you know this, Mark's on Twitter. He likes to send tweets. He would love today at this afternoon to send out a victory tweet. Just let us know that we've hit 4,000. So let's see if we can do that today, and that would be great. Let's give a big round of applause for all my helpers. Thank you, guys. about how you feel. Yeah? Well, I feel like a fish who's had to watch everyone else get the spirit stick but me. Oh. Oh. Dad. Dad. Hola, amigo. Oh, hi. Just got back from surfing killer waves, dude. See, Bubbles, Virgil is here now. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, but, but Virgil... Where are the noisemakers you were going to bring? Oh, dear. Dude, was that today? Mm -hmm. Oh, dudes, I'm so sorry. I ran through starfish bucks and got late. Uh, mm, completely yeah. forgot about the spirit stick. If I swim home real fast... Yeah, well, there I'll isn't time it. for that now. Yeah. Let's just work on the cheer, okay? Here okay. we go. Okay, you okay. ready? One, two, ready, go. Operation Overboard, we're going deep with God. Boom. Operation Overboard, we're going deep with God. Boom. Operation Overboard. Hold it, hold it. Uh oh. We're supposed to be going deep, Virgil, but you're going up. Uh -oh. Sorry, I really want to help you with the spirit stick. And when I get anxious, my voice goes higher. Uh -oh. Oh, well, pull yourself together. We got to win this. Okay, it's, it's, it's okay, Virgil. Just relax. In with the good water. Out with the bad water. Uh, yes. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I want another shot of this, dudes. All Let's right. Let's try it again. All right. Okay. Ready? One, two, ready, go. Operation Overboard. We're going deep with God. Ooh. See there? That was much better. Okay. Yeah, that was pretty good. Mm -hmm. But then we have to do something at the end since we don't have any noisemakers. Sorry about that. Ooh. Maybe we could build a pyramid. <gasps> Virgil, that's a great idea. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, Bubbles, you'll be the foundation oh, at good, the bottom. Good, yes, what? good. The bottom? Why me? Because you're extra awesome. Huh? Yeah, I am, but I don't think extra awesome is. Oh, okay. Okay. okay, you yeah, climb on next. All right, I'm on, oh, I'm on. Here okay. we go. Ooh, okay. sorry, Virgil. I'll be the top. Okay. Oh, okay. Watch us! Watch us! Oh, 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 o
about a hero who made big mistakes and even ran away. Then one day, he was swallowed up by a giant fish. Or was it a whale? Um, oh, I totally love this story. Yeah. Pinocchio. Oh, no, it, it wasn't Pinocchio. No. This hero got lots of chances to do the right thing. And even though he needed a lot of do-overs, he eventually got it right and helped save an entire village. Well, I don't know. Come on, Bubbles. Well, all right. Yeah. I don't really want the spirit stick if you two can't be a part of it. Oh. But this time, you are on the bottom of the pyramid. No problemo. Oh, you're the best, Bubble. I agree. <laughs> okay, well, here's the last chance of practice. Okay, here, here we go. go. One, two, ready, go. Operation overboard, we're going deep with God. Two, operation overboard, we're going deep with God. Two, operation overboard, we're going deep with God. Oh, yeah! Yeah, 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 The assembly is this way. This no. way. Oh. Come on. Operation. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Go oh, deep boy. with God. Oh, yeah. Operation. Firm our faith together. Please stand. We are not alone. We, we live, live in God's world. world. We, we believe, believe in God, God, who has created and is created, who has come in Jesus, the Word made flesh, who has the Son and made new, who works in us and others by the Spirit. We trust in God. We are called to be the church, to celebrate God's presence, to love, to serve others, to see justice and resist evil, to proclaim Jesus and survive and raise him, our judge and our hope. In life and in death, in life beyond death, God is with us. We are not alone. Thanks to be to together our call to prayer. Those of you that have been in um, Children's Worship Monthly, you know this. We're going to sing it a cappella. So let's lift our voices together. Sing, thank you to God, joy taking a deep breath. <sighs> We're going to think about do-overs. And the first thing I want us to do is take out your hand like it's a piece of paper. And it can be whatever color piece of paper you want. And then with the other hand, I want you to make a crayon or a magic marker. And it can be whatever color you want. And part of do-overs is asking for forgiveness. Because you know we mess up sometimes. And sometimes we really need a do-over. And aren't we lucky to have a gracious God that has an endless supply of do-overs? So with your color, and on that piece of paper, I want you to write the letter F for forgive. 
It's the one time where writing letter F is a good thing on your paper. Sometimes it's a bad grade. I got a lot of those in math. Okay. Now, once you take another piece of paper, on the other hand, on the other hand, it's not just about asking for forgiveness, but it's about being gracious enough to offer second chances to others as well. It's just as much about forgiving so that we can create a world where do-overs and second chances are okay, where we're not so nervous that if we don't get it right the first time, that everybody's going to be so upset with us and judge us and never let us have another shot. It's about forgiveness. So take out another color or the same one you used before, and I want you to write the letter F for forgive. The two parts about living in a world where we get do-overs is being able to seek forgiveness and being able to extend forgiveness. Now let's put those two hands together because they work together. And we're going to pray the Lord's Prayer together. And I want you to see if you can find a spot in the Lord's Prayer that specifically focuses on do-overs. I bet you can. Let's pray it together. Here we go. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Let's sing together. Sing thank you to God. Joyously sing, sing thank you to God for Now, a big part of Vacation Bible School Week is the assembly, and a big part of the assembly is something called the spirit stick. Maybe you've heard about this at home. If you haven't been to the assemblies yourself, you might have heard about it. Well, we want to kind of give you that experience. It wouldn't be VBS week if we didn't have it. So why don't we do our Holy Spirit prayer first. I'll say a line of the prayer, and then you repeat after me. Holy Spirit, come to us. Holy Spirit, come to us. Holy Spirit, be with us. Holy Spirit, work in us. Help others see God's love in our eyes. Help others hear God's love in our laughter. Help others feel God's love in our hands. Our hands of love and friendship. Amen. Now, we've done the spirit stick prayer, but we still need that spirit stick. I wonder where it is. Hmm. We were at a party. Here, low fell in the game. Someone reached in and grabbed it. What a rock. First United Methodist clergy and staff. Let's give them a round of applause for that. The choreography, the swim caps, the, it, that's really impressive. Well, I'm really glad you're here. Among other things, what our, our clergy did and our staff did, they were our traffic safety people making sure that the kids and families got all the way across all week. And we did have one more. There's just no way to do that gracefully, is there? No. <laughs> 
We did have one more spirit stick presentation we wanted to make. All the grades got a chance to have the spirit stick and they got to decorate it. But I wanted to make one more presentation. And this is on behalf, this is to all of the teachers who put in tons of hours of work behind the scenes. The volunteers in the supply rooms and the art rooms and the music. Go ahead, go ahead. Incidentally, I'm not a hold your applause to the end guy. This is why we're here. So anytime you feel like clapping for it, you just go right ahead. That's awesome. Um, puppeteers, every, I mean, all the volunteers, our youth volunteer corps who are phenomenal. Everybody had a part in this. And there are staff people right now, aside from the... Um, whatever that was, there are a ton of people right now working so that the party, when we go out at noon, is going to be as wonderful as it can be, and they are frantically working as we speak. So, I mean, the, the total number of hours is countless. Uh, I can think of a couple of people in particular uh, who have worked countless hours, and I'm going to ask them to come up now because this would not happen without our co-chair, Molly Hargrove, and our VBS chair for 2012, Ashley Johnson. Come on up. And that's for you. Thank you. Uh, thank you for being here. And bef I, I do want to say a few words of thanks. I hope I don't tear up. It would, this has been an absolute pleasure. I've enjoyed every single minute of doing this. I want to thank Mark and Nikki and Amanda. They're in our children's ministry. They make magic happen. And, and your kids can tell you about this, but who would ever thought the, the phrase spitting kittens? could have a relevance to having a deeper relationship with God, but, but they make the magic happen. I want to thank our volunteers. We had 101 adult volunteers that made this possible. We, yeah, it's amazing. We had... And I want to thank them. I want to thank, we had over 70 youth volunteer. They're all wearing the red shirts. They're amazing. I want to, we had 397 precious children in our church. If there's not a more concrete reminder of how beautiful God's love is than to see those children's faces, I just don't know what it is. It was, it was just an absolute joy to come here every week. I want to thank the congregation. Thank you for your gifts that allowed us to have VBS. And then also, I want to thank, my last thanks, I want to thank every single mom and dad of every single precious child that you brought here. They were magical. We loved sharing God's love with them. We hope you come back again. And I just am so sad that there's 50 more one weeks, 51 more weeks until we have VBS 2013. And you're gonna ha you're in a good hands because Molly Hardgrove is your chair for next year. Well, now it's time for our Bible story, and just to pull back the curtain a little bit, ushers, child ushers, this is your cue to meet at the back to get ready for the offering. Okay. All right. Now the curtain's back. Okay. This is going to be a sing along Bible story, and I'm going to need your help. Now, moms and dads and uncles and aunts and grandparents, you're going to need to have to teach the kids how to sing this. I'm going to need your help, and I know you know it, okay? This is kind of a throwback. I'm going to sing a part, and all the responses are listed right there where it says Bible story, the ballad of Jonah. Okay, I'm going to sing a part, and there'll be an obvious place for response. Miss Lindy and I will show you where that is. And um, grown-ups, why don't we show the kids how it's done, all right? Watch, listen, listen carefully. <laughs> One day the Lord told Jonah he must go to Nineveh, but Jonah didn't want to go. He said, no way, uh-uh. He said, no way, uh-uh. All right, okay. Yeah, kids, that's what it. we call old school, all yeah. right? They got it. <laughs> you think you can do that, kids? I think we got you it. You ready? Yeah. Grown-ups, thank you for backing me up. All right, here we go, everybody, all together. We'll start the whole story. One day the Lord told Jonah he must go to Nineveh, but Jonah didn't want to go. He said, no way, uh-uh. He said, no way, uh-uh. That was really good. All right. 
He thought the people wouldn't hear a word he had to say. So Jonah hopped aboard a ship and sailed the other way. And sail the other way. A storm fell on the stormy sea, and Jonah's ship was tossed. The other sailors were so scared, they thought all hope was lost. They thought all hope was lost. But Jonah knew deep down inside that he'd upset the Lord. He said the storm was all his fault, they threw him overboard. They threw him overboard. The rain and lightning disappeared, the thunder ceased to roll. But then a giant fish came by and swallowed Jonah whole. And swallowed Jonah whole. That's very dramatic, right? The fish kept Jonah in its belly for three days and nights, while Jonah prayed to God and vowed that he would do what's right. That he would do what's right. The giant fish spat Jonah out. He made it to dry land. He promised from then on that he'd obey the Lord's command. Obey the Lord's command. Last verse, let's really make it count. So Jonah got another chance to go to Nineveh. And this time Jonah minded God. He said, yes, Lord, uh uh-huh. He said, yes, Lord, uh uh-huh. Good. Give your brains a kiss for that one. Awesome. Thank you very much. Now, it's time for, I believe, our super sixers to come on and... you that during our offering, if you mark your envelopes, that that contribution will go right to our mission project. Super Sixers, will you come on up and stand right here and the youth helpers that are coming to sing with them, come on and stand up here. We're going to sing one more of the songs that we sang during VBS. Kids that are sitting out with your parents, you know this song and I want you to sing along as well from your seats so that our voices will just fill up the sanctuary. Okay, you ready? We're going to sing this together. You ready, kids? Hey, will y'all step down one step? Two, come on down a little bit. All right, Mr. Tim, we're ready for Live by Faith. Will you sing with us? Okay, you ready?
wishes we joyfully give. The prayers that we wish for, the lives that we live. Our time and our talents, our hands and our hearts. God gave all this to us, and we will do our part. Amen. Okay, well, if this, this is the part where if you want to join our church, if you saw and felt what happened this week and today and think, wow, I really want to join this church. I really want to be a part of this community. This is the time to come down. We're going to do what's kind of called the song of invitation. It's the most wheels off thing that any member will have ever joined the church to. But that's it's VBS Sunday. So what are you going to do? Um, And I just want to remind everybody about everything that's going to be going on. There's going to be lots of food out there. Now, with that in mind, if you find yourself at the front of the line, Good for you. Now, you get to practice some of the things that we've learned all week, like sharing and leaving enough for others. Hint, hint, hint. Because there, you know, we've got, it's a lot. There's a multitude. And um, so we don't want to make, so don't get too greedy. Um, There's going to be face painting. There's going to be button making. There's going to be science demonstrations. There's going to be puppet making. There's going to be a drum petting zoo where you can go jam on some drums from all over the world. There's a guitar petting zoo. There's all kinds of fun stuff to do and just being with each other. So make And signing up for fall academy classes. Now, I've got to teach you how to do this chant, okay? So, And then, those of you who want to come down and join, I don't know, you might like it. This might really inspire you, all right? So we start off with something that goes a little bit like We Will Rock You. It's a stomp, stomp, clap, stomp, stomp, clap. Right. And then we say, Operation Overboard, we are going deep with God. Huh. Operation Overboard, we are going deep with God. Huh. And Chris, so far so good, right? Give your brains a kiss. All right. Now, I'm going to ask a series of questions. It's all the same question. I'm going to ask, where are we going to go? And you're going to go deep, deep, deep. And you're going to stomp as you say it. And then I'm going to say, where are you going to go? And you're going to go deep, deep, deep. So get your best oom papa mau mau voice for that. And I'm going to go, where are we going to go? You're going to go deep, deep, deep. Where are we going to go? Deep, deep, deep. Then, I'm going to go, then we're going to do the Operation Overboard part again. And at the very end, we're going to go seven. Deep, 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 deep. And that'll be the end of it. And it'll be strange and awesome and very VBS-y. So, all right, here we go. Let's get a stomping and clapping going. And stomp. Good. Here we go. Operation Overboard. We're going. Where are we gonna go? Where are we gonna go? Operation overboard, we're going deep with God. Operation overboard, we're going deep with God. Deep, 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 deep. Good, give yourselves a round of applause. together forever, and we've celebrated that with them, and we're so delighted to have Alex come this morning and become a part of our church family. We sure are excited, Alex, and and the date is a week from yesterday. It's coming right up. Alex, as you become part of this church, I ask you, do you reaffirm your faith in Christ? And will you be loyal to the church and uphold it with your prayers, your presence, your gifts, your service, and your witness? And will you promise to be good to my daughter all the days of her life? I'll be 
PBS Sunday. We all like him. Yeah, yeah we're, we approve. <laughs> May grace, peace, hope, love, and joy forever accompany us. Amen. Have fun.